Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey in the blind playthrough of uh, Commander Difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty of this rather harsh and unforgiving game. We are launching our combat team to Crash Site 7, uh, which I would call Hilly Hooray. Uh, that is a better name than uh, Bradford would come up on the fly. So Hilly Hooray it is as we're going in with our typical two shields to rifleman, grenadiers, uh, one grenadier to heavy to sniper combo. Keep in mind uh, the uh, quicker units, Shattered Realm and Apatilius are now wearing the Guardian armor. That is our freshly uh, created armor with 30 um, defense, which is fantastic because that means they actually will survive. And if they gain a little bit more strength, which I hope they will over time, they might even be able to get one of those plating modules in as well. Um, look at that. Slow time and center on the UFO. Can we launch aircraft? Wait, 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 wait. Launch aircraft. Select UFO. Fuel 66%. Should be good. Launch it and go. Good. We're commencing an attack on another small one, right? Good. Let's try this. A good old observer. Get solidly hit. And then we're starting to wail it down. Come on. That was harder than expected. <laughs> okay, we're yeah, we're going to go for that in a second. Plenty of missions. But before we even finish it, we are ready for UFO 13. Ah, we can't do that fight now. We're first of all going to go all the way back to UFO, I think. 12 or 11 so that's going to be invested first if we play our cards right that might be three back-to-back -back ufo crash site missions all right landed is somewhere in the desert and luckily it is a day mission so let's move up natalia Leaves her weapon here. I think we have played the exact same map. Open up. And uh, triple shot. Oh, got him good. Very nice. Jim moves up. Okay, well... We are opening up that warehouse. Very nice. Move into partial cover. Epi moves into partial cover. The GE moves out. 
And Tony moves out as well. Good first turn, a kill. Solid removal of cover. Good. We know there is an enemy in here, okay? Not sure what the, uh, that sound was. I'm not familiar with all of the sounds yet. But I'm hearing a lot of kills here. Yep, come to us, brother, and hide in our aircraft. Promise you it's safer than out, uh, than where you are. Triple. And another hit. Nicely opened that. Great job, Jim. Love it. Natalia moves up. Um, Shattered Realm moves up. And Uncle Nuber opens the wall. But much to our surprise, we are not finding anything there. There we go. Triple shot. We're moving up. Removing more cover. Tony. 100%. Nice little hit. The G takes him down. G for good aim. Epi moves up. I think we're doing very well so far. Zoe will continue to safeguard to the right. With better weapons and better soldiers, things are actually not as bad as they used to be. There is one of those flying discs. Telling me that explosives are starting to lose their explosive nature if we're just far enough away. Good, removing more. Cover. That allows the G. Take a solid shot. And a hit, by the way. Tony. I think Dilly missed, but Tony was hitting. Okay, interesting. Shadow Realm shoots twice, but is ultimately not successful.
Epi moves up. Takes a shot, but can't get him down. That is unfortunate. So he moves over. I want to go to that window. And I think overall we're doing okay. Need to reload our snipers. Nah, our friend was killed. That is unfortunate. This guy took some serious damage. But did not fully die. Reloading with Shadow Realm. Single shot. Misses. All right, the G. Potentially missed as well. Moving up. And we need to reload. Okay, cool. Triplet. And a solid hit. Okay, cool. Good, suppressed one of them. Another hit. And finally the kill. Boom closer. Shield moves forward. Let's see if we can suppress him. Overwatch, yes. Apparently not suppressed. More enemies. Okay. Fabulous. These guys have a very solid ranged uh, combat penalty because they are not seeing so super well, which is the reason why we are so far away from them. <laughs> wow, triple hit. Another fantastic hit. Tony. Hits, but does not kill. And in order to not be shot, 
Chitterrell moves here. Is that a kill? No. It's a hit, though. Epi. Moves up. Takes a single shot. No. 70% miss. Another triplet. Guy is still not suppressed. Yeah, he's slightly out of range. Now he's suppressed, finally. Okay, we could see into the UFO, I don't want that. Instead, we're just shooting twice. There is a small chance for a hit, unfortunately not happening, but it's okay. I don't think that we have captured these guys yet. I'd be careful with a UFO. up shot and another one just didn't happen Look, there is only so much I can influence. So he moves up. Happy moves up. The realm moves up. Okay, the G is going to take the high ground. And I think we want high ground here as well. Good. For now, we're fine. Things can soon turn into a situation where we're not fine. Specifically with uh, psionic aliens. Oh, 
Opening this. One. Two. Very good. Good enough. I don't think there is anyone else here. And we're just going to go down. Flashbang. Very nice suppression. Good. Reload first. And we can move up next over there. Snipers definitely should take that high ground here. Four good shots. We're done. Okay, so suppress all that works well. And with everybody being suppressed, let's have a shot. <laughs> Daily, what the fuck was that? Good, one down, good start. Moving up. Anchor down, reload.
I'll go over this way. Thank you. Good. A little bit of damage in advance. They are suppressed, so they should not be able to jump out and do a lot of mumbo jumbo. One. Reload. Two down. Shit. Another reload. Another flashbang, just so that we are not getting counterattacked. Pistol shot hits. We took successfully took away our cover before then successfully uh, should have maybe captured him alive or at least tried uh, could have been a bit better but I think all other things considered we've actually done a really nice job no injuries nothing I wonder if we can simply go to the next mission or if we just hop into our base and then try to do it again. Okay, after action report, quite a few silver stars, right? Service medal for 10 missions. Dilly G still gets six points per mission, which is crazy. Now, in terms of, we could just fly back and then immediately go, uh, go on. Yeah, we're going to get to that UFO in a second. Alright, Angel 3 a little bit further back, Angel 4 takes the brunt of the attack and off we go. It's another observer. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Need to repair that guy. Oh, come on. Well, not the nicest results, but we got it done. How much? Fuel, no, not enough. You have all 15 medium. Okay. Uh, Angel 1 and 2 are still fueling up.
Is our Sky Ranger theoretically ready? That's the more important part. 100% fuel. Everybody here is ready. So with that, launch the combat team and go ahead. Same deal as the last time. Yeah, I think we're good. 99 accuracy. Okay. We'll monitor that. Almost 100. Target you for 15. Launch aircraft. Okay, cool. Uh, well, apparently we have successfully interrogated him. Sonic triangulation. Sectoids maintain strong sonic connection with one another. Appears to allow them to share sensory input. Two sectoids are within eight tiles of each other. They will gain plus 50 accuracy. Oh, that's pretty bad. So we want to make sure that they are not within eight tiles of one another. So all of a sudden they have 100 accuracy and with our current difficulty that's 120 accuracy. Now we're dealing 15% more damage against them. Finally, let's try the Reaper and start the research here. Look, I'm just trying to survive, but UFOs are coming out of the woodworks left and right. Squadron 2 can't fly that far. That's unfortunate. And the medium UFO, we can't win with just one aircraft. Angel 4 is not good enough, specifically not with 14% health. Are you kidding me? No. Next nine days will be not a lot of fun. I want to spend 200k uh, just to replace. Good. Looking at the timing, we do have another downed UFO, but I think that's a good cliffhanger. I'll join you the next time when we're commencing the actual ground troop attack. So that'll happen the next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed uh, the episode, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you think about Xenonauts 2. Take care and bye bye.